he enjoyed it, the supporters enjoyed it, and meanwhile on the track there's been a big break already. They've just completed two laps, and Rob Lonergan of Canada has gone right away. He's a 1334 man, and he uh, got dissatisfied with the pace. It wasn't a, a particularly uh, fast lap there, but it, um, it was a 66-second lap. But the last 100 there, he ran fairly quickly of that lap and got away. So Lonergan leads, McCloy now in second place. In third place is Jack Buckner, fourth is Muir, five is uh, McColgan of Northern Ireland. In sixth place, Kerry Roger. Seventh is Man Basasa of Malawi with Tim Hutchins alongside him. And Steve Ovet is at the back of that pack uh, with Walker following him. A couple of runners there in the background are two lads from Guernsey who are a long way behind already. Well, there's Steve Ovet being tracked by John Walker, who's followed him for the whole of the race. They've just ignored what's gone on up the front with the two Canadians. I suggested that the Canadians might take the pace out if, the, if, it, if they felt it was slow. But I didn't expect them to accelerate as quickly as that, and that's not a sensible thing to do. You should, if you're going to move quickly, you should pour it on and take it gradually because it just stays in your legs if you accelerate very, very quickly like that. But you can see the two of them, he's looking for his teammate, glancing over his shoulder, now he's going to help him. Now, the rest of them better start having a look at this. They should, because uh, the race isn't fast. Uh, that last lap, once they settled down again to uh, an even speed, was only 65 seconds, so uh, they're not running anything sensational. Uh, McCloy's taking it on. He's not the most uh, graceful-looking runner, but he's very strong indeed. McCloy, who uh, ran in the 10,000 metres and finished in fourth place. Followed by Lonergan and Terry Green of Northern Ireland. Tim Hutchins is in fourth place. McCall of Northern Ireland uh, is fifth. Well, I'll tell you, I wouldn't mind being one of those Canadians out there myself right now, because I think if I was in that position, I'd start running for home, because there's only eight and a half laps to go, and I bet Tim Hutchings is thinking the same. If he'd been able to sneak up with those two Can Canadians and get away from the main group, I think Tim might have put his head down and made a charge for the finish. I'm sure Nat Muir and Jack Buckner are thinking the same, but you've noticed they've accelerated. They've seen that that gap was a little bit more than they felt comfortable with, and I think they've decided, and they've been spurred on by Tim Hutchings, who's in fourth place there, followed closely by Jack Buckner, and they're, they're beginning to think the race is on. But I'm, I'm pleased these two Canadians have done this because this is what this race needed, and you can see the pace is starting to pick up a bit because they're being split. There's little gaps appearing right through the field, and uh, we've got a racing prospect now. We didn't expect it to develop quite this way, but this will do for starters. The last lap, uh, 65 seconds, so they've run uh, four laps there in about 4.21. That's uh, in the mid 1320s, so it's not a uh, very high class, but they've gradually worked their way back to the two leaders. Lonergan and McCloy of Canada, then Terry Green, who's brought the pack back. Tim Hutchins in fourth place, McColgan of Northern Ireland five. Sixth place, Paul Williams now, the Canadian record holder going through. Seventh is Jack Buckner, eighth is Nat Muir. Then in ninth place, um, Burridge of New Zealand. Just behind Burridge, Steve Avett. John Walker is right at the back of the file. 